Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 5th of March to the 9th of March 2018. As always, starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of markets looking at key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're going to highlight as well some of the targets that we're looking for for the coming week and also weeks ahead. So without further ado, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index. Now, last week we broke above the key area of resistance at the 89.54. And so we said we were looking for a pullback and a possible retest of this area before we had some strength coming into the US dollar index. And in fact, we took out the target we had set from last week, which was somewhere in this area. We came up short of the next key area of resistance, the upside, the 91.02. So going into this week, very simply put, we are looking for uh, a further pullback back down towards the key area of support at the 89.54. And as long as we stay above the 89.54, we're going to be looking for a further appreciation in the US dollar index. And we're going to be looking at the next key area of resistance to the upside and the target, which we just failed to achieve last week at the 91.02. Next, we have oil. Now, last week, we started the week above the key area of broken resistance over here at the 61.93. And we were looking for a target to the upside at the 63.87. Now, we did come and achieve this target. And you see, we actually bounced from this. However, we started the week pretty much up here, which meant the distance from here towards the target was actually very minimal. So that we were looking for a deeper pullback really to try and take advantage of this and it never really came in all. However, we did bounce from the key area of resistance at 63.87. You can see we came straight back and broke down below the support area. So we came back and you can see in one candle we wicked it and then we broke through. Okay, so we start the week below the key area of broken support in this case at 61.93. So very simply put, going into next week, we are looking for a pullback, a possible retest of broken support turning resistance. And if we get this kind of price action, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts in oil, first of all down towards the next key area of support to the downside and the first target at the 5900 handle. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking for the next key area of support to the downside and target two at the 57.25. Next, we have euro dollar. Now, last week we were sitting and we started the week underneath the key area of broken support in this case, because we started the week down here with 1.23301. And we are looking for short positions down towards the first target and next key area of support to the downside here, the 1.22100. And you can see we did, in fact, get this move last week and we almost started to break down through what well, we did break down through, but we failed to hold down below here. And you can see came back to test as resistance and we actually failed as resistance before coming all the way back up to this resistance area here. So very simply put, we start this week again below this key area of resistance, the 1.23301. So as long as we start the week below this key area of resistance, we're going to go into next week simply looking for bearish formations and patterns. And if we start to see bearish formations and patterns emerging in this area, as long as we can stay underneath this resistance area and this holds, we're going to be looking for shorts back down towards Target one and the next key ever support to the downside, the 1.22100, looking for a similar move to last week. And again, if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking for target two and the next key ever support to the downside, the 1.20890. Now, don't forget, we have to create a methodology that we can follow. Otherwise, we cannot have consistency. However, you can use these levels both ways. And in the event of a reversal, strengthening in the euro dollar, and this fails to hold as resistance, we will simply be looking for a pullback, a test of broken resistance to become support for further continuation upwards. And we will be looking in a reverse position, probably back up to the top of the range over here. You can see once, twice, three times we actually made this move. OK, so we'd be looking for something like that. But as we start the week below this key area of resistance, we are preferably looking for bearish formations and patterns for shorts in the euro dollar. Next, we have pound dollar. Now, last week, we started below the key area of broken support over here 
turning resistance the 1.3984 and we were looking for a bounce from this area and we were actually looking down towards the target last week of the 1.3760 which is about here uh, and you can see we did actually have a really nice move down completing the target from last week. So we go into this week very simply put sitting below a key area of broken support at the 1.3858 so we are going to be looking for a pullback a possible retest of broken support turning resistance if we get this kind of price action this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside at the 1.3624 Next, we have US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week we started the week below the key area of resistance up here, the 107.391. And we said we were looking for a pullback and a possible retest of broken resistance, which we actually had over here. And we were looking for short positions down towards the next key area of support and the target to the downside at the 105.489, which was about here. So you can see where, again, we did actually have a really nice move to the target that was set out in the weekly forecast last week. Very simply put, we go into this week below broken support at the 106.131. So if we can get a pullback and a retest of this broken support area, we can start to see this actions resistance. This is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts in the US dollar Japanese yen down towards the next key area of support to the downside at the 104.236. Next, we have Aussie dollar. Now, last week, we had actually broken down below this key area of support over here, failed to support 0.79145. We're actually sitting in this area uh, and we said we were looking for a pullback somewhere into this area, preferably even another retest. You can see we did have a nice corrective pattern pulling back, albeit not all the way up to here. And we were looking for somewhere in this area, shorts to the downside uh, towards the target of the 0.77. 330 which was about here and you can see once again we did have a really nice move last week in another currency pair in the form of the Australian dollar so very simply put going into this week we are sitting below broken support now at 0.77904 so what we're going to be looking for is a pullback somewhere into this area preferably even a retest of broken support turning resistance and if we get this kind of price action this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking at initiating shorts first of all down to the first target and the first key area of support to the downside at the 0.76973. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking for the next key area of support to the downside in target two, at the 0 0.76341. Next, we have New Zealand dollar. Now, last week, we were actually sitting at the key area of support. We started the week above this key area of support at 0 0.72860. And because we started the week above this key area of support, although we were looking for potential strength in the US dollar index, we did note that we were actually starting the week above here. So in line with being consistent, we were looking for an opportunity to go long in the New Zealand. And you can see actually, as we had that strength in the dollar, we did have a failure of this support level. And we started to break down and we came all the way down before pulling back at the end of the week, coming close to retesting the broken area of support. So very simply put, this week we go into this week below this key area of support. So very simply put, we want to see a, another correction into this area, preferably even a retest of broken support turning resistance. And if we get this kind of price action, we're going to be looking to initiate shorts down towards, as you can see, the bottom down here, we run the risk of going into a bit of a range down towards the first key area of support and the first target at 0 0.71876. But if we can get a break through this key area of support, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support and target two at the 0 0.71343. Next, we have US dollar franc. Now, last week we started above the key area of broken resistance over here. Uh, and we we're looking for this to come back. We we're looking for a correction last week to come back and retest this broken area of resistance, potentially as support. As you can see, we didn't come all the way back to retest this broken resistance as support, but we did get this correction in the US dollar franc. And we ultimately did get this push to the upside, which we were looking for last week. And we traded into the target set from the forecast last week at the zero point. 94380 which is roughly uh, around this area here 
before we started to climb back down towards this key area of support down here at 0 0.92923. So very simply put, what we're looking for going into next week as we stay above this key area of support at 0 0.92923, we are looking for further correction to take place, possibly even a retest of broken resistance over here turning support, but a correction somewhere into this area. And any correction into this area is going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And as long as we stay above this key area of support, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside at 0.95511. Next, we have US dollar CAD. Now, last week we started the week breaking above key area resistance, the 1.26325. And we had this pullback and we were sitting retesting broken resistance and support. And we were looking for strength to come in from this broken resistance turning support, this area over here. And you see, we did have a really nice move to the upside last week in the US dollar CAD, a very, very strong move. Uh, we took out both targets to the upside, first of all, at the 1.27726 and also the secondary target up here at the 1.28664, which is roughly around this area somewhere. So very simply put, going into next week, we're sitting above the key area of broken resistance at the 1.27726. And what we would like to see in order to get some real nice uh, risk to reward on this pair is a pullback and a correction, preferably even a retest of broken resistance turning support. And if we can get this price action, we're going to be looking at initiating longs. We're going to look for bullish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking at initiating longs, first of all, up towards the next key air resistance, the upside, which it just kind of missed by about a pip or so. But you could probably say this has been filled. But we're going to be looking up towards this key air resistance, the 1.29180, similar to this move over here. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key air resistance to the upside and target two, the 1.29701. And finally, we have gold. Now, last week we were sitting uh, below this broken support area over here, 1346.57, and we were looking for a pullback. And you can see we did have a nice pullback last week. Uh, we were possibly looking for a retest of broken support turning resistance, but in this case, we just had a very deep pullback. Didn't quite come all the way back up, but still a nice pullback nonetheless. And of course, you're not going to get a retest every time. So a very, very nice deep pullback just to get the risk to reward ratio you need uh, is always good. And we had a decline down towards and we actually took out the target set from last week at the 1307.77, which is about here. And you can see we bounced from this target uh, coming up to test broken support turning resistance now at the 1325.89. So very simply put, going into next week, uh, from where we sit now, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get those kind of patterns in this area, this is going to be a great place to start to look for short positions. And we're going to be looking at short positions in gold down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target one at the 1299.36. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big thank you to those of you who do that on a regular basis and also those of you who have subscribed to the channel so far. Just bear in mind, we do have Italian elections this weekend. And so therefore, we're likely to see some gaps in the market on Monday. Uh, and if that occurs, of course, that is going to affect the outlay of the charts at the start of the week. Also to bear in mind is that we do have four interest rate decisions next week out of Australia. We have another one out of Canada. We have another one out of the EU. And we also have another one out of Japan with non-farm data coming out on Friday as well. So a big week next week. I expect to see a lot of volatility next week. So just bear that in mind when you're trading next week uh, and also look to manage your risk, of course, uh, sensibly. So with that said, guys, I hope you all had a fantastic week last week. I hope you all have a fantastic week this week. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.